so this is actually the continuation of the previous lecture uh, in the previous lecture we discussed about a stable and unstable system and the basic definition of stability bebo stability and we also discussed the problem uh, up to this point now we'll start from this particular problem okay uh, this is not to check uh, time varying property it's actually uh, the bebo stability okay bebo stability Uh, system is already we discussed the definition uh, so now we'll do this particular problem uh, we'll quickly review the concept a system is said to be stable or be more stable that is for the system if the input is x of t and this input signal x of t is bounded between two value that is uh, minimum values minus mx and the maximum values mx assume that the signal amplitude uh, slice between these two value and we are getting uh, and this mx is less than infinity and minus mx is also less than infinity then uh, for a particular system we are getting an output y of t which is again uh, bounded between two values my and minus my for all t okay the maximum value of the signal is between these two values then we can call the system as be possible now we'll check uh, this particular uh, already we discussed some basic problems now we'll discuss some more advanced questions now y of t is given by d by dt of uh, x of t we need to verify whether the system is uh, stable or not okay if you directly uh, in most of the cases we will assume that the x of t is bounded between the limit mx which is less than infinity uh, or we can call it as a finite or a bounded one bounded between two values now we'll assume uh, what happens to y of t okay. but uh, in the derivative system it's very difficult to directly approach the value uh, and we'll take a typical example here and uh, assume that let x of t is uh, u of t u of t means the step signal step signal uh, is a bounded signal at t is equal to zero the function when t greater than u of t is defined as like this u of t is equal to one for t greater than zero and zero for t uh, less than zero from this particular point onwards the signal amplitude is one this is u of t so you can see the signal amplitude is bounded which is less than infinity okay so mx value is less than infinity when t is tending to infinity okay. but uh, now we can substitute in the particular equation y of t is equal to d by dt of u of t okay derivative of step signal derivative of a signal means uh, you already know this particular result uh, which is equivalent to the impulse signal and uh, we know the behavior of impulse signal or we can directly uh, find this derivative of this particular signal this is d by dt of u of t if you want to find the derivative of the signal simply it's a slope and if you observe the slope uh, of this particular waveform uh, at this particular point it's a straight line parallel to x axis so slope we can calculate y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here you can see that y2 y1 values are uh, if you take any value between uh, these two uh, for example minus 2 and minus 1 the y amplitude will be same so you will get 0 so slope of the line will be 0 up to this point again if you observe uh, the point 2 and 3 here also you can see that uh, the x axis point is different but y axis point is same one one so we'll get zero similarly if you observe any value in this particular axis uh, it become zero so slope of the signal is zero but if you observe the signal at t is equal to zero there is actually a change in the signal so if you observe the slope at this particular point here y2 is is one and y1 is zero but if you observe the x2 minus x1 it simply uh, zero zero okay here the point is zero zero and here the point is uh, zero one okay at t is equal to zero so zero zero 
so which is uh, undefined or tending to infinity so we'll get a signal uh, which is going to infinity at this particular point okay at t is equal to 0 the signal amplitude is going to infinity even if this particular u of t is bounded u of t is a bounded signal but we are getting the derivative of uh, u of t okay which is actually the del of t signal which is an unbounded signal unbounded signal because this value this arrow mark indicate that the signal amplitude is going to infinity so this y of t is an unbounded signal so for the bounded input we are getting an unbounded output unbounded output so we can conclude that system is unstable unstable okay so this is a typical question uh, you can say that the derivative of a system uh, is an unstable system now we'll discuss another uh, system which is an integral system uh, y of t is given by integral minus infinity t x of tau d tau okay for this particular system y of t is equal to integral minus infinity t x of tau d tau and assume that this x of tau is a bounded one which is less than infinity or a finite quantity or a bounded one uh, we need to verify the output so again uh, this is a typical question we will choose uh, one specific uh, input that is x of t is equal to u of t and e of t means as a step signal is equal to 1 for uh, t greater than 0 and 0 for t less than 0 so if you observe this particular waveform it will be like this 0 1 and the amplitude is 1 okay now if you substitute this particular signal in this expression it becomes integral minus infinity to t u of tau d tau okay that's an integral of uh, the step signal the signal amplitude is from 0 to t it's 1 d2 you'll get t okay for uh, t greater than 0 that is for t greater than 0 you are getting a signal uh, whose amplitude is uh, simply t that is when t is equal to 0 it's 0 when t is equal to 1 it's 1 when t is equal to 2 it's 2 etc and uh, similarly if you observe this particular signal at t is equal to infinity when t is tending to infinity or if you observe y is equal to in in this particular equation you substitute t is equal to infinity you will get infinity you can see that this y of t signal is a bounded one but you are getting uh, y of t as an unbounded signal unbounded signal because at t is equal to infinity the signal amplitude is going to infinity so we can conclude that the system integral system is an unstable system now we can uh, consider the counterpart of uh, this integral system uh, it's a summation okay the discrete time signal uh, the same equation we can use instead of i of t we'll write y of n and less than or equal to my and mx okay and it should satisfy the condition for b stability now we can see that here y of n is given by the equation uh, sigma k is equal to n0 to n x of k this is a signal and assume that this x of n signal x of n is a finite one for example uh, the signal x of n is equal to uh, 2 for all n okay for all values x of n is equal to or you can write x of n uh, it's a finite quantity the maximum value of uh, x of n is mx which is less than infinity or a finite quantity okay bounded one okay now we can find out y of n and y of n is equal to uh, k is equal to n0 to n x of k for example n0 is equal to 2 
or two, let be three. N zero is a constant value and it's three. So you can write y of n is equal to sigma k is equal to three to n x of k. We know that the maximum value of x of k is less than uh, mx or equal to mx. So assume that in this particular case is two. And the expression uh, becomes, uh, if you substitute in this particular example, n zero is three. Assume that n zero is three. You need to substitute uh, it's x of three plus x of four plus x of five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Up to uh, we need to infinite. We'll write up to infinity. Okay. So even if it is two, two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus, if you add like this. You need to write up to infinity. That is y of infinity. If you calculate y of infinity, for example, y of uh, okay for this expression, it can be y of five. If it is y of five, you can write y of x of three, x of four, x of five. Okay, it will be a finite quantity. But similarly, if you write y of infinity, equation becomes k is equal to three to infinity x of k. And in that particular case, you will write two plus two plus two plus two plus etc. up to infinity. Or uh, exact equation will be like this. Uh, for n, it becomes uh, n minus three plus one times m x. Okay. And if n is equal to infinity, so this is uh, n minus three plus one. Into m x. Okay, you can write the general equation, and if n is tending to infinity, the equation becomes infinity. So we can conclude that the system is uh, be both stable and not stable. It's an unstable system because we are getting uh, y of uh, n as infinity for a particular value of n is equal to infinity. When n tending to infinity, we are getting the signal amplitude uh, is equal to infinity. We can assume that uh, we can see that in this particular example, uh, x of n is a bounded value two, but we are getting y of n is equal to infinity. So we can conclude that system is unstable. Now this is another question. Uh, y of n is discrete time signal. Uh, y of n is given by one by three x of n plus x of n minus 1 plus x of n minus 2. Again, you can assume that uh, the modulus of x of n, uh, the, x, the maximum value of m o, x of n is mx, which is less than infinity or a finite quantity. And uh, in this particular expression, we need to find out y of n. Assume that uh, we can take the positive maximum mx, the maximum value of uh, let x of n is equal to mx. We'll take one example. It becomes uh, in place of x of n, it can give mx. So here you can see that in this particular signal, the maximum value of xn is mx. So this is the signal x of n, and the maximum value is mx. And if you shift this particular signal, that is x of n minus one, the maximum value will not change. Okay, and here it is x of n minus two. Again, if you consider the signal, the maximum value is mx. So we can try with the maximum value, maximum possible case. Okay, this is the maximum possible value that is mx, uh, mx plus mx. If you multiply, uh, or if you add all these things, you will get a uh, three mx by three. So we get again mx. Okay, uh, it's actually an averaging system, so we are getting uh, mx. And for any value of uh, n, n is equal to zero, or n is equal to one, n is equal to two, or n is equal to infinity, you'll get the maximum value is equal to mx. So we can conclude that uh, we are getting the output is also a finite quantity, or you can call it as a bounded. So the system is a Bibo stable system. This is another question. It's also a very important question. Uh, here you can see that it's a log. Y of t is equal to log. It's very important. Uh, it's written as 1 plus and modulus of x of t. And uh, in this particular question, if modulus is not, you can 
right two more question uh, log uh, simply 1 plus x of t okay uh, there is one possibility and another possibility is log x of t okay uh, so slightly modified version of these questions okay we can try these two questions also and in this particular example assume that x of t uh, is limited uh, between the values mx or we can call it as a finite quantity if this value is finite that's the maximum value of mx is uh, x of t is mx in this particular expression y of t if you substitute you will get log 1 plus and you are getting the magnitude value so you can write mx okay even if mx value is 0 you will get log 1 so you will get a finite quantity so this will result into a uh, finite result okay so for a finite value of uh, x of t you will get y of t is also fine so we can conclude that uh, the system is uh, bibo stable but you can consider the other system uh, that is log here you can see that inside the expression it is given as modulus or the magnitude of the value x of t is taken and uh, the case the first case we can consider this is one and this is two if it is given simply one plus x of t if it is simply given x of t and assume that the x of t value is minus one and if you substitute in this particular expression you will get log one minus one here you can see it's log zero so which is not defined or it's an unbounded signal so we can say that system is unstable so if it is modulus of x of t you can write plus one but here it is simply given x of t and another possibility or not defined so we cannot write uh, find the stability condition here and simply if it is given log x of t again log x of t not modulus log x of t for log x of t also if x of t is zero again there is a problem okay so we cannot find at log zero it's unbounded signal unbounded at t is equal to zero so we can conclude that system is unstable so it's very important uh, you should look log one plus modulus of x of t is a stable system now we can see uh, an exponential signal is multiplied with x of t so here uh, y of t is equal to e raised to 2t into x of t and we know that uh, e raised to 2t the general shape of this e raised to 2t so don't confuse with e raised to 2t into u of t it's e raised to 2t into x of t so x of t can be any signal now we can uh, approximate the shape of e raised to 2t see at t is equal to 0 you'll get uh, e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is equal to 1 so at t is equal to 0 it's 1 when t is tending to infinity the signal amplitude becomes <laughs> e raised to infinity which is equal to infinity and when t is tending to minus infinity it becomes e raised to minus infinity which is equal to zero so the waveform will be like this uh, it will pass through the line 1.1 uh, sorry uh, it will be an exponentially growing signal towards right okay and uh, now we can uh, assume that even if x of t is a bounded signal which is less than infinity we can calculate y of t uh, something like e raised to 2t into mx okay but you can see that if mx is bounded okay it's a finite quantity but at uh, t is equal to infinity or t tending to infinity that is y of infinity becomes e raised to infinity mx which is equal to infinity or you can see from this particular graph uh, for t tending to infinity the signal amplitude is going to infinity so we are getting an unbounded output so system is uh, unstable 
the given system is unstable. Now we can uh, see another question, which is slightly modified version of the previous question. Y of t is given by e raised to minus 2t into x of t, not u of t, it's x of t. And if you observe this particular waveform, uh, it's e raised to minus 2t. At t is equal to 0, uh, it's e raised to 0, e raised to 0 is equal to 1. And when t is tending to infinity, it becomes e raised to minus infinity, which is equal to 0. So when amplitude, uh, sorry, time tending to infinity, signal amplitude uh, tending to zero. And when t is tending to minus infinity, it becomes e raised to minus is already there. So minus into minus, it becomes e raised to infinity, which is equal to infinity. So signal amplitude is going to infinity. And again, you can take this example, x of t, you can assume that's a bounded value. The maximum value is mx and which is less than infinity. So we can call it as a finite value. And now we can verify this y of t, that's e raised to minus 2t into mx. We know that uh, for t is tending to infinity, it's y of infinity. At that time, this particular signal, signal amplitude is 0 at t is tending to 0, sorry, t tending to infinity. So you'll get a finite value. But at when t is tending to minus infinity y of minus infinity you can see that it becomes e raised to minus 2 into minus infinity into mx the maximum value of x of t is mx assume that so it becomes e raised to infinity e raised to infinity into mx so we can conclude that which is tending to infinity or from this particular waveform you can see towards left side the amplitude goes to infinity so definitely uh, the signal amplitude goes to infinity when t is tending to minus infinity. So we can call it as an unbounded uh, waveform. So it's an unstable system. Unstable. Now the question is y of t is equal to e raised to minus 2 into modulus of t into x of t. Here we need to plot a uh, first uh, e raised to minus 2 into modulus of t. So if you observe this particular question, uh, there's a modulus of t. So you need to take uh, towards the positive side of t. The signal will be like this, e raised to minus t into t becomes positive. So plus t. So you can raise e raised to minus 2t in the positive side. The negative side you need to take this function as e raised to minus 2 into t becomes minus t so e raised to 2t so when you evaluate the signal at the right side uh, at t is equal to 0 it's, it's 1 when when t tending to infinity in this particular expression if you substitute it becomes e raised to minus infinity which is equal to 0 signal amplitude is uh, tending to 0 and for the when t is tending to minus infinity, here you can see the signal is e raised to 2t. So if you substitute t tending to minus infinity, it becomes e raised to minus infinity and 0. So signal amplitude is tending to 0. Okay. And now uh, the signal x of t, you can assume that uh, the maximum and minimum values uh, between mx So we can try the two values uh, when uh, x of t, you can assume that's a plus mx. We can assume y of t is equal to uh, towards po positive side. Assume that when t is uh, positive, okay, t is positive. We can write the expression like this, uh, e raised to minus uh, 2t into mx. Or you can see that when t is tending to infinity towards positive side, it becomes e raised to minus infinity into mx, which is tending to zero. So it's a finite quantity. And we can say it's a bounded one. And for uh, t negative, you can write the expression like this y of t is equal to e raised to 2t into mx. 
and when t is tending to minus infinity okay uh, this expression becomes uh, e raised to 2 into minus infinity into mx which is again e raised to minus infinity into mx which is equal to 0 again a bounded waveform so we can conclude that the given expression uh, is this bibos table or from the particular expression you can see that uh, the signal is bounded if x of t is bounded definitely you will get a bounded waveform okay so 